All right, guys, this is a little bit of a different video than I normally make. Uh, patch 13.1 literally just came out today, so I am bringing this uh, video just to be a little bit of a just kind of not really anything other than showing you all what mods I run. So first of all, uh, this is Aslan's Mod Pack. If you want to install it, you'll go to this link right here. This is the one that I recommend. Uh, Wargaming has uh, the official mod station, but honestly, that's like so unbelievably broken and janky. It's like really, really bad. Uh, stuff is broken all of the time. It doesn't update in any amount of reasonable time. It takes like two weeks for it to update per patch. It's like, it's really like jank. So I do recommend you use Aslan's instead. So the first thing you're going to do is once you're here, you're just going to go to this main download link right here and you click that and it'll save to your computer. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. And God damn it off of here and then what you're gonna do is you're just going to go towards your downloads folder and you're going to click install you might get a scary looking pop-up just hit run anyway and get rid of that uh, going to select English for our language uh, you might get something like this this is just uh, this is actually really new uh, let's see Okay, so if, you, if you're if you able to, then support Aslan because he does do a lot of really good work with this. So I'm not going to do that right, worry about that right now because that's uh, going to be uh, not really related to the video. So you'll get the list of updates and everything. You'll get the list of what's been changed, anything that's been uh, added, removed, updated, etc., will be listed right there. Uh, you'll go and select whichever folder you have your game installed to. It might depend on whether or not you're running Steam or the Wargaming client. Uh, you can find the steps on how to get to your folder. Uh, just real, pretty much right here. This is, I run the Wargaming Center, so this is the route you go to. You just go to your, uh, your drive, games, World of Warships, there you go. Now, these are all of the different mods I run. I'm going to hit show descriptions right here. So, uh, get rid of that. So the first thing I run is uh, is clan icons, which is those little uh, dot, those little like logos that you see by each of uh, each of certain clan members. Like my clan, uh, GGWP, has its logo, and you'll always see that next to my name. Uh, clans like Resin have it. Uh, NACL has it. A few, a bunch of clans have them, but anyway. Uh, you could run uh, one of these team panels, but I personally don't. Uh, you can take a look at which ones you want to have and decide if you want them, but I don't run them. Uh, you could run uh, some weeb mods if you want. Right here, I run ship movement in indicator. This is the first one. This is the one that lets you see uh, which way ships are going, if they're reversing, stopping, or going forward. It's a very useful little tool if you're if you don't have torpedoes. Consumables monitor is what is able to let me see what my teammates' consumables are. Uh, Whenever I press Alt, you can, and it'll shows what's running, and then it'll show when you press Alt, you can see the status of their consumables, their uh, DCP heal, whatever the case may be. It's a very, it's another very useful mod. The spotted indicator is another very, very useful mod, and that shows when your allies are detected. It can give you ideas of where an enemy destroyer might be if they're being hard spotted. Uh, or not, so that's another very useful one. Uh, depth charge marker is the one where you see those little dots where the depth charges are. Uh, when I'm launching depth charges off of my ship, that's what this is. Uh, numerical remaining battery on submarines, pretty self-explanatory. Shows you how much battery they have left. This one I run, but it's kind of jank. Basically, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to show you whether or not they're homing or not 
but it half the time it doesn't work. It's kind of jank, so yeah, whatever. And then the torpedo's detection indicator is another one that sometimes does, sometimes doesn't work, but basically it shows you when your torpedoes have been detected by the enemy. Last spotted timer, that's the one where you press alt and it shows you on the minimap exactly how long it's been since an enemy was last spotted, like 3 minutes for that destroyer, 2 minutes for that battleship, 39 seconds for that battleship, so on and so forth. Uh, 2D RPF is the mod that shows your RPF direction on the minimap. Uh, advanced attention marker is the one where when you ping the map, uh, it shows that exact same spot on your rendered in your 3D world. It's another very useful one. Uh, submarine pingers on minimap is very self-explanatory. It shows a, a marker on your 3D world and also shows it on your minimap. Uh, you've seen those a bunch of times. And then minimap squadron realign, uh, that's just a little, uh, I guess, OCD little mod you can have if you want to. Uh, and I do also use uh, one of these, uh, this one right here. I think I accidentally unchecked it when I was uh, rambling, but this is what shows what ship each person is playing. Uh, let's see. The self-info panel is the one that I use right here. Uh, it shows your uh, detection, uh, shows your main battery range, torpedo range, and status of AA top speed. It's a nice little one so you don't have to remember all of that off the top of your head all of the time. Regen assistant is the one that shows you how much health you can heal back. It's another very useful quality of life one. Build viewer is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It shows you your own build, uh, or if you're in spectator mode, you can uh, view these build of everybody. Module state viewer lets you see the HP and status of all of your armaments and modules. Uh, it's a very useful one because your torpedo tubes have random HP, which is a very dented mechanic, by the way. It, like, makes absolutely no sense, but I'm not going to go off on that tangent. But it's a very useful mod to be able to see, uh, how much torpedo tubes health you have, uh, and see how likely they are to be knocked out right at the beginning. And you don't have to find that out the hard way when one Thunderer shell doesn't even hit you, but still destroys your torpedo tube with splash damage. Been there, done that. Uh, 3D radar is what shows the giant circles on your 3D world when you press Alt. It's another very useful mod. Uh, white means that it is available. Uh, green means it's running, and it will be rendered on your world without having to use the Alt key. And then... Uh, you can also view it with your alt key when it's on cooldown and the ring will be orange. So that's a very good one. Uh, Intuitions is a very, very good mod as well. Uh, this is the one that shows how many people have you on RPF. It is a very, very useful mod to see if there's uh, multiple RPFs on you, which you can't see otherwise. Uh, Advanced Battle Loading Screen is the one that you see... Uh, have all of the ship information. That's well. That's not very. That's not much larger. Uh, it's the one that shows like the concealment range and all of that good stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, aircraft carrier helpers. Numerical HP on squadrons. That's a very uh, self-explanatory one, but very very useful. So you can see how much health the enemy planes have. Score timer is the one that shows how much time until you win or lose, uh, or if you're going to be able to make up points or not. And that's another very good one that I absolutely recommend. Shot timer is the one where when you fire your guns, it counts down from 20 to show you how much uh, time you have uh, until you go undetected. Radar timer is the exact same as shot timer, except it's counting up for the amount of time that you've been on radar or hydro, and it's a very useful mod to know how much uh, how much longer that uh, Des Moines or Mosfa or whatever the case may be, how much 
longer you'll have to go before you'll go dark on their radar and then uh, numerical capture time on objectives this just shows exactly how much time is left in seconds uh, on a cap that you're not in so it's another very nice uh, quality of life one you could run any amount of these by the way like you could when you're installing the mod you can take a, mo a more look a uh, you can take a closer look at each and every single one of these mods and decide if you want to use it or not these are just the ones that i run personally and these are the ones that i, ha I have installed and then uh but when you're looking at this for yourself, you can definitely uh, go through, take your time, look at all of these, and uh, and go from there. So I use this ribbons mod. This is the one that uh, changes all of your ribbons to be uh, anime girls. There are a bunch of different ones that you could run. Uh, but the, I just choose to use uh, this one because this is the one I like best. Uh, let's see. Custom radio location just makes your RPF blue instead of uh, or, or blue instead of white. Uh, emblems is the one that changes all of the default emblems or not emblems, patches to uh, some weeb girls. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Consumables. These are ones that uh that let you that change the way your consumables in game look. Uh, you could use any number of these, but the, I just don't use those. The battle loading screen. Uh, this is a purely cosmetic one. This is the one that changes uh what the screens look like on when you're loading into the map. Uh, can't delay rank icons. Uh, this one honestly doesn't work half the time, but basically instead of having like the little like number of stars or whatever uh, you might have on your rank, you'll have uh, you'll have some weeb stuff on there. Dog tag remover, uh, that is uh, pretty obvious what it does. It gets rid of those annoying, uh, really annoying patches. Uh, and then hide the fire screen, uh, gets rid of that. And I don't run any crosshairs mods. I use the dynamic in-game one. But you can just look through uh, all of these and see if there's any that you like. Uh, this range finder is the one where uh, it sh when you're looking through your binoculars and you see uh, sh shots to target and all of that. Or travel t shell travel time to target and all of that information that that changes the color from white to blue hey Stewie and then show max speed of the target at crosshair that is uh, well it shows the max speed of the target at crosshair so there you go I do use a zoom out mod I use the 43% uh, more zoom out and that like it helps you just kind of keep better track of exactly what's going on around you because uh, your field of view is greater. Uh, and then port interface, I use session stats. Uh, it just shows uh, for the session that you've been playing, it shows how you've been doing. Crew assign, uh, this is gives you back the ability to assign a tar assign a commander to a specific ship via uh, an, a menu you used to be able to do this and then wargaming removed it for some reason and then this just brings that ability back so that's a very nice mod right there automatic container collector will default to the last uh, container type that you manually collected so in my case that would be more coal so whenever I get enough XP for a container it will automatically collect it for me and it will and it'll select the uh, more coal option so adjustable division window that just gives you the ability to well adjust your division window make it bigger or smaller if you want to that kind of thing no funnel smoke and port it's a visual thing just gets rid of that I do use the Cancale commanders to change all of my commanders into ship girls uh, as you do 
you could uh, run any number of these that you want. If you want to run uh, run any of these, I don't. I obviously use the Cancalay Commanders. Uh, let's see here. I don't use any ports. I don't use any flags. Uh, I don't believe I use any of these. Nope. And then ship skins and appearance. Appearance. I only run a couple of these. I run the Akatsuki uh, skin right there, and I on. I actually think that's literally it. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then also the uh, effect of soot on your saturated parts of your ship. Uh, I choose to disable that effect completely, which by the way, you shouldn't do because this uh, soot on your ship does mean that the area is saturated and that you should shift your aim. So uh, you should uh, not run it to be totally honest so you can see saturation, but I, I just choose to deal with it because I don't like looking at that. And then constant weather effects. This is the mod that just makes it so it's always daytime no matter what. Uh, it's a very nice little quality of life mod because you don't have any annoying mist or rain or whatever the case may be uh, to piss you off. And then uh, Pharaoh Island map with reduced dazzle. That is pretty self-explanatory. It just removes the uh, the annoying glare of the ocean on the uh, on the Faroe Islands map, and it makes it a lot easier to see. And then crew voices, I use both of these mods. Uh, I'm on. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not exactly sure from which mod, which one of them, the mod, the uh, voiceover that I use for Shimakaze. I'm not entirely sure which one of these two it's actually in. But it's one of them, but I, I just run both. And then, lastly, we have uh, remove the maximum limit of replays and just enable replays in general, which they are enabled by default, but uh, it is limited to, like, I think 30 before it automatically deletes older ones, and I just have it to remove the limit on that, so it just keeps all of my games. Uh, I do have a 165 hertz monitor, so FPS limiter in battle, 165, in port, down to 60. And then there's matchmaking monitor if you want it. Potato alert if you want it. And then any full packages that you might want. Uh, and what these do is they are just... Uh, they're just a bunch of full packages that entirely change the way your game looks and what all of the UI looks like. So uh, there's one right there. There's some more. There's a Miku one that's not available. So anyway, uh, once you have selected all of the mods that you want and you have everything installed that you want and selected, you will just go and hit next. You'll just... Uh, remove all previous mods. Hit just keep next. Keep hitting install, and then just let it do its let it do its thing. And now there is one other step that uh, that I have to do when I'm in updating my mods for each patch. We're going to let this finish. Uh, once it's done, you can just hit finish. And now the one thing that I have to do uh, is go and install more Weeb mods. So in my uh, in my game, uh, I have the obvious uh, ship girl previews in game, uh, in the port, and like the team list. I also have that mod. And that is, a, and I also have the HP mod, mod as well. So what all of that is, is uh, is a mod that someone manually makes and updates for me, and I have to manually install it each time. So what I have to do is I have to take all of my mod information and uh, put it, just stick it in the GUI folder. This is how you get to it. Bin the highest number 
res mods GUI. So if you have any uh, mods that are like that, that's how you do it. Or if you have, if you download any individual mods off of the uh, off of the World of Warships Discord, for instance, uh, you can. Uh, this is how you install them. You go to your bin or uh, whichever folder that it directs you to. You go to your game folder. Usually, it's in the uh, bin uh, highest number, and then you'll go to whichever folder of these that it tells you to go to and then uh, just go from there drag drag and drop some files boom there you go so that is all of the different mods that I run uh, and that is also how you install as lanes so I hope this video has been of help to you and might have answered any questions you might have about the mods that I choose to run if you want to install any for yourself or if you want to go and uh, download Aslan's for yourself. I have the link in the description to Aslan's site and I do recommend supporting Aslan on Patreon as well because he does very very good work. So that is going to be it for today and I will see you tomorrow.